Welcome back everybody, Kraken Packs MTG here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and leave me a comment because starting this Friday and every Friday going forward, that is how I'll be drawing my winners. I'm going to draw all the winners for the week on Friday, and you'll get some awesome packs or some spicy cards out of my treasure box. So without further ado, let's open this box of Amiket. This says, Rise Among the Worthy. So hopefully the worthy means this thing is full of lottery cards or invocations. We got six people here. We got Cody, Isaiah, Derek, Big China, Aaron, and Phil. We're going to knock it out six packs apiece and see what happens. And I'm going to try to shuffle these up some just a little bit to, uh, to give it some sort of randomization. That way everything is not stacked up in one pile, which seems to be the case sometimes. So just bear with me for half a minute here. And we will kind of randomize these just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start with six. There are six beautiful golden packs. There's six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfectly pulled 18 there, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, kind of move these guys around a little bit more. Six. Six. And we have six more. All right, so let's get started with this. Outside of a lottery card, I think out of this set, we want, uh, what is that, uh, Anointed Procession, that's the card, um, I think Ronus is also a good hit, but we'll see where we end up, Lord of the Curse, that's a good uncommon, Angel of Sanctions for our first mythic, So how's everybody been lately? Did you have a good weekend? Is your week starting off right? Double Mythic hit, as foretold. This is a little bit better than the last one. So two Mythics already knocked out. I thought I shuffled these. I shuffle about like the randomizer on Magic Arena, I guess. There's a monument. Those are always good. And we got a Timmet. And of course a full art land there. Grave Digger. And we have a split card, Commit to Memory. We got two more packs for Cody. And I don't know if anybody has kept track of the price of these Amicat boxes, but within the last month, they went up to between... Oh, no. <laughs> we did it already. Holy cow, Cody. Do you see that? Do you know what that is? How did... Okay. Let's slow roll it. This is the reason these boxes have gotten so expensive. They're between $150 and $200 a box already. We got a Hepatra. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. Okay. It's a stifle. Wow. Look at that. Five packs into the box, and we hit an invocation, and it's a stifle. That's a pretty good one. I saw the blue borders, and I thought this was going to be a force of will. But a stifle is nothing to sneeze at, so... That's pretty exciting. That's I'm I'm two for two in hitting lottery cards in my past two videos. So that's really flipping exciting. Wow. All right, Cody. Let's 
well, congratulations. That came early in the video, so maybe there's some good stuff left in here for everybody else. Dread Wanderer. That is absolutely amazing. Moving on to Isaiah. That was absolutely crazy. We got, okay, we got a harvest season. We got a little green mummy holding a turnip. And we also have a foil curator of mysteries. So that's a uh, nice little bonus, a foil rare. This, this card is actually a, uh, a promo that you see a lot of. They used to put them in the promo packs or the, uh, excuse me, the chaos packs that you'd get at Walmart. Lord of the Curse, another good uncommon. They, what a box and an anointed procession. This card is 20 plus dollars now. This this box is absolutely nutty. This and the cat used to catch a lot of flack, but it's come a long way. It really, really has. Heaven and Earth and a foil cartouche. I can get in this pack. Sandworm Convergence. That's actually worth a buck, I think. So it's not a complete terrible hit. And I think the artwork out of this set has aged really, really well. Personally. Some people may not like the uh, the D Egyptian flavor, but there's a vizier of many faces. But like, look at that land. That's just that's gorgeous. Five packs in. Hit 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 the invocation. That's curator of mysteries. That's a double tap. You got a foil one as well. That just I'm shook, man. Derek, you're up, brother. Sorry we already hit the invocation so early in the video. Champion of Runus with a pitiless visitor, vizier, whatever, however you want to say it. Or something foily back there. Has anybody ever hit two invocations in one box? Is that even there's a monument? Sheltered thicket. And a foil grasping dunes. Is it even possible to do that, I wonder? Because the odds are like one in every four boxes. So that puts it like one in every a hundred. What is that? 144 packs? I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's very unlikely. Throne of the God Pharaoh, that's a good card. Monument. Rags to riches. Sweltering Suns. And last pack for Derek. Dusk until dawn. Another split card. Moving up here to Phil. Archfiend of Ifnir with a Trial Solidarity foil. If there's one thing I could have changed about the invocations, 
would have been the text so you could actually read them. The cards themselves are pretty beautiful. It's just they're very hard to read. Gideon's Intervention. That's my only knock on them because I really had to, to be able to figure out what this one was, I had to read the ability. And then I had to look back at the the text at the top and I was like, oh, that's, that's Stifle. I just, I didn't read it and know what it was. It was like, well, that's literally hier hieroglyphics. I can't, can't figure it out. Manicor with a shiny cat. Groves. Those little cycling lands aren't too bad. It's like a watered down version of the Triomes. What, uh, what can we, if they're, they're just two, what we, can we call them duomes? Does that work? Oracle's Vault. There's a Nissa, a blue green one with a foil desert. That's not a bad hit. How you doing? All right, ended that on a mythic for Phil. Not too bad. Moving over here to Aaron. Another mythic, Kefnet the Mindful. Looking uh, regal, powerful, little mighty leap. Colossipede. It's a cool name. Monument. And a regal caracal. I think I think everybody from here to here, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna throw some extra packs their way when I ship it out to them because hitting that uh that invocation right off the bat, that had to take the wind out of everybody's sails, fetid pools. And then Isaiah hit the anointed procession right after it, so that kinda that set him up pretty good. But I'm going to take care of everybody else unless they get something silly too. Hazrat's favor. I feel like that's the right thing to do. What do you think? Skull Scar Mage. I uh, used to see a lot of playing modern. I don't know if he still does. Not modern, uh, yeah, it was modern. Pioneer. Modern. One of those, one of those formats. I can't keep up with anything anymore. It's been so long since I've played a real game of Magic, I don't even, I don't even know how to do it anymore. I just click the mouse and I just play the cards now. Bounty of the Luxa. This is a really powerful card. I'm surprised it doesn't get more love than it does. All right, and last is Big China. He told me, get him an invocation, and I gave it to somebody else, so I feel real crummy about that. So, new perspectives. So I'll, uh, like I said, these four guys, I may even throw a little something uh, Isaiah's way too, even though he got the anointed procession, just to, just to make it fair. Pyramid of the Pantheon. How many mythics have we hit so far? What is it? Four? So maybe do we have one left? Let's see, let's see if we can get a Gideon. A Ronus or a Gideon would be a good hit. So hopefully there's at least 
one mythic left in here. Approach of the Second Sun. That that's an that's one that is a complaint I have about the Amicat set is those those bolus horns are everywhere and it's the same exact art. Come on, let's get Big China at least a mythic. Come on, Drake Haven. I like it. Look at that. A foil, a, a double foil rare. That doesn't happen much in Amiket. The uh, the higher foil pull right pull. The higher foil pull rate didn't start happening until recently, like core 2020. So that's that's a little something. I, th I think there's a few people that use her as a commander. So that's cool. That's something that I notice in videos too. People have trouble saying and distinguishing. Bantu, there we go. At least it's a mythic. The difference between pull and pool. And it sounds like most people say pool, like swimming pool. But I would I would I would think it, it actually should be pull, like P U L L, because I pulled that card. I don't know. I'm just I'm talking out of my left ear. And the Heb, the Worthy, with a very red hot searing spear. And that's the end of this. Um, like I said, wow, can't believe we did it again, guys. Look at that. I mean, it, it looks like it would start with a D. Distifle Olim. I mean, but it's still, it's still awesome as heck. Everybody else, I'm going to hook you up. Um, Send you a few extra things out, even the playing field, because I feel bad. Uh, if you're watching the video, there's a couple of Amazon links in the description. If you're needing some magic cards, uh, just go check those out. If you click and buy something, it helps the channel up the tiniest little bit. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, leave me a comment for the giveaways on Fridays. And thank you for joining me again. It's been real.